What's going on? This is the first book review that I'm actually having in a while. This book is amazing. I actually read this many years ago. It's kind of one of those things that someone gives you a book, you're not ready for it, so essentially you just either browse through it or you don't take it seriously and you go, oh, those, those are some good points. And then you revisit the book and you say, wow, okay. And the reason being is that this book is kind of for grownups. It's for the people that actually have the resistance. The resistance of you want to get married and you, you have no chances of girlfriends because you're not approaching anyone. You want to make more money, but the problem is you're not making any sales calls or you're not starting to business, you're looking to actually do something that you want to do. And guess what we do? We fill that time, which is as Cal Newport talks about in deep work, we fill that time with something else that could be drinking, that could be hungover, uh, that could be eating, that could be social media, that could be email, that could be masturbation. It could be anything. It could be any kind of topic, but we say, this is the thing that we're going to do between nine and 10. And then we fill it with something else. Okay. And the reason we fill it with something else is because there's a word that he uses Obviously, Stephen Pressfield uh, turning pro, obviously the war of art, and I forgot the third one that he wrote around this, but essentially we call it the resistance. The resistance is the ego, okay? The ego is saying, I want you, I want to keep you safe. I want to keep you from make, not making those sales calls. And if you think about it, the ego is actually important. A lot of people say, I don't want to have an ego, but the problem is if you don't have any ego, you're going to walk into the middle of the street, okay? The ego essentially, there's two types of egos. That's the way, you have the shadow ego is, is the, what you actually want to do in life, start a big company, be married to a beautiful guy or a girl, or you want to have a, an incredible body. That's kind of the shadow ego, like the future self. Then you have the day to day and the day to day is essentially the resistance. In other words, you're trying to get this, these disciplines of going to the gym to get your future self, which is that body that you want. And to do this, you actually have something called the resistance. So the resistance, let's get into it. Resistance is anything that tells you it's okay, don't do it, or put it off till tomorrow, or go on Amazon and start buying some things. The resistance is anything that that derails what you really need to do, okay? He brings up, obviously, a plethora of types of resistances, okay? The, the, the one that really caught my eye is there, there's two things that I really want to do. Number one is public speak, okay? We think of excuses, which is, oh, this, this venue, or I want to get paid, or or what am I going to talk about? Or where, where's my first talk going to be? Whatever the case is. The second one is sales calls. Okay. Sales calls is more about the rejection. A lot of people have, you know, as uh, Seth Godin has talked about, which is just ship it. You, you make a book or you have a product or you have a song or you have something, a website, a company, just ship it. They also call in Silicon Valley, the least viable product, which is you make a product, send it out there, test it, get some feedback, make it better, 1% better. In the war of art, they talk about the resistance before you actually ship it and before you actually create it. Okay, so before you actually create, say, a book, writer's block, whatever they, whatever you want to call it, or in sales, you 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 say, I'm gonna I'm gonna find out all the information before I actually make this call. I'm gonna I'm gonna understand what their needs, their wants are. I'm gonna discover their social posts. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into all this detail. You make a call and then you make a voicemail. Okay, then you go in and you say, here's the next person. And the problem is, if you have a short cycle, and I'm talking I'm not talking about uh, you know big sales. But I'm talking about small sales, which is by my service, my product, uh, real estate, whatever the case is, I'm in real estate, which is they make a list of things that they need to talk about, okay? Mastering the script. No, 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 you just gotta do it. And he said, there's three ways to overcome it. Number one is every single day at this time, this is exactly what I'm gonna be doing, okay? You're gonna find me here writing. You're gonna find me here making sales calls. You're gonna find me here going to the gym. Whatever your number one thing is, okay? So he talks about, that's the first thing is, you have to block it off. Number two is consistency. You have to show up. That's a professional. Show up when you're sick, when it's bad weather, when you don't want to, when you're hungover, when things are happening in your life. You have to show up every single single day. That's what a professional does. And number three is they say, you're never going to make it the first time. You're never going to make it the second time. You may not even make it the third time. However, if you keep on showing up and the professional knows this, the, the, the person that actually goes out and makes 50 sales calls and nothing happens, or the person that writes 500 pages or say, you know, three books and nothing hits or the script, you know, if you're writing a script for Hollywood, the professional knows that one of them is going to hit. You have something called faith. Okay, faith is is believing in something that you can't even touch or feel or anything else. You have faith, it's gonna happen, okay? So the first one is you gotta block the time. Number two is you have to show up whether you feel like it or not. And number three is you have to you have to have faith in the first two that something is gonna happen, okay? He barely even focuses on the, the latter of the part. He talks about all about the resistance, and then he also talks about the, the actual idea of 
getting down to the brass tacks. Let me just bring up a, a couple of things that he, he brought up, which was very interesting. And here we go. So he brings up that we try and rationalize it. Okay, we rationalize every excuse we, because we want to be kept safe. I'll just go back to the ego and, and what he talks about it. So you have the ego that wants to protect you because the ego says you've never made a sales call or you've never actually produced a book. Uh, you're a fraud. You're someone that doesn't do this. This isn't part of your, your personality. So your ego protects you because this is something you've never done. Okay, and he talks about it is that it actually gets easier. You've heard that from a ton of people, which is as you face the resistance, the actual resistance becomes easier to face in the future. The second thing is he brings up is that when you actually start is the best feeling in the world, okay? You write 200 really bad words. You make really bad sales calls for the first two months or three months or four months or whatever the case is. You make some really bad screenplays or some, you, the, the first business proposal isn't that good. Okay, but when you actually do it, the resistance feels good. That, that actual feeling of doing and accomplishing is the best. So it's really broken down into to three parts and I'll leave you guys with this. Number one is explaining the resistance. Okay, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's doing what you don't wanna do and, it, and it's explaining what you do instead. You fill it with time, you fill it with some, something. You fill it with something and you just, you say, well, it's not a big deal, I'll do it tomorrow or actually social media is more important or actually writing these emails are more important. Then number two, part two, is combating the resistance. Commenting the resistance. How do you actually get over the resistance? Talked about that a little bit. And the third is obviously what actually happens when you do this. So it's something to look forward to. It's the future self. It's the. It's not the accolades. It's you're doing this as a professional to make money. This isn't. This isn't a craft. This is. Or he actually talks it as a craft and not an art. So an art is, well, I do it, I kind of do it. You know, you're, you, it's sort of a passion. No, 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 I'm doing this to make money. And when you actually incorporate, he actually brings up incorporating yourself as someone that does this as a professional, you feel better about yourself because it's not me, it's me, comma, Inc. It's me, comma, company. You're doing this for the company, all right? And when you consider it that, don't talk to me. This is all I'm doing. You become the professional. Highly recommend this. Unbelievable book because we're all pushing something away. And that resistance is never gonna go away. It's never gonna go away. It's always gonna be there. Doesn't matter if you've done it thousands of times, it's always gonna be there. It's the professional, it's the quarterback. Tom Brady talks about it. He gets nervous before Super Bowls, before playoff games. It's just natural. But the problem is, a lot of people don't wanna go out there and perform on stage. You know, they sit in the sidelines, but they're not actually on the field. They're not actually performing. So if you guys have any questions, any book reviews you want me to do, shoot it in the comments below. Subscribe to the video. Have an amazing day.